One feature that came out of the Starshot initiative, which I've been really keen to try, is the automatic updates. Now, Drupal CMS has the ability where you can search for projects and install them through Drupal's backend. You don't have to do it with Composer, which is great. It also has the functionality to then update those modules, which I've been really keen to try. But of course, you can only test that out when there's a module to update. And when you are playing around with it, you are often getting the latest version. Now, luckily, my Drupal CMS site, which is a few days old, finally has a module that needs to be updated. So I'm really keen to see how the automatic updates work. So here we can see that there is an update to auto save form. And we can see that it is version 1.8. And if we take a look at Composer, we can see that 1.8 is there in the Composer log file. And we also have 1.8 specified here if you run Composer show and then Drupal slash auto save form. So if we now go ahead and update it, it should just automatically update. So it's gonna go do its thing. Then we get this confirmation page, which tells us exactly what's gonna be updated. Let's just toggle that on and click on continue. So the module updated, and if I search for auto save, we can see that it's been updated to 1.9. But if we jump over to Composer, we can see Composer lock has been updated, and we can still see here that it is 1.8. But if I run the command again, it has been updated to 1.9. So as you can see, updating modules with Project Browser and automatic updates is as simple as just checking a few boxes and clicking updates. But of course, you wanna make sure that you back up your site or you run these updates on a staging site to make sure everything is working.